Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transstar Industry Studios here at Babcock's Media. Just as I covered on the pumps, uh, when Chrysler released the RFE transmission, uh, they chose a unique design for the solenoids. Instead of having solenoids individually all over the valve body, they chose to put them in a body or a block. The first solenoid block that came out was a black connector. The solenoid design actually was a unique. Uh, it had almost look, what looked like pole shoes inside of it. Uh, after a couple of years, some problems surfaced and they decided to make a change and they came out with the white connector, which the white connector solenoid uh, is substantially different than the black connector. Uh, they had uh, more common looking solenoids. You can see the tips of them here, as well as there's one external. And this white connector would retro along with a TRS plate back to 1999 so you no longer have to have this uh, earlier black connector design. The solenoid screens also were changed, so you have to watch and not mix these up. Now, both of these were seven solenoids, uh, six that you could see through and one uh, that was uh, external. Uh, this went up until about 2010, and Chrysler decided to change their shift pattern. So instead of having a D21 or D2L uh, shift quadrant, they decided to go with a tap shift. There were changes made to the valve body along with the uh, solenoid body. What they did in 2010, 2011 was to come out with a gray connector. What is unique about this, they decided to drop one solenoid out so, so instead of having seven solenoids like the previous models, uh, this one only had six. And you'll see it on your screen, but they dropped the overdrive solenoid out because the multi-select solenoid uh, basically did the same thing. Now, when they did this, they changed the TRS plate as well so that uh, even though the screen, the solenoid screen is the same between white and gray, you have to have the right TRS plate or it's not going to work correctly. So initially you could not buy the gray connector. You had to buy the white connector, but you had to use it with the TRS plate that came with the 010, 011 up gray. Uh, after a while, these were released. They were actually fairly competitive, but since then the price has really gone up on the gray connector. So it's probably more beneficial to stick with buying a white connector and use the proper TRS plate based on application, whether it's 010 back or 010 up. And as I said, the screen is uh, the same between them. In 2019, they came out with a new solenoid block, which this is a blue connector. And you'll notice there's a wire pigtail sticking out because an additional solenoid was added to the system. You might think, well, that kicked the quantity back up to seven. Well, it's actually eight because where these previous solenoids did not have a solenoid, uh, individual solenoid for the reverse clutch, this solenoid block has a reverse clutch solenoid as well as a separate TCC solenoid. In addition, they made a slight change to the screen plate. So again, you'll see on the screen the areas that were changed. Make sure that the screen uh, is used uh, properly or you can have problems with that. This is the TCC solenoid, which is this is a fairly common looking solenoid, but this was added as an additional component uh, from the 018 back. 
And that's what this pigtail plugs into. So initially you had seven solenoid design. Then in 010, the overdrive solenoid was dropped out, making the quantity six. And then in 19, this came out and included not only an additional TCC, but also the reverse clutch. The, uh, the arrangement is pretty much the same. This is the actual TRS plate, which is transmission range uh, switch plate. And the areas, which you'll see on the screen, between the black and the white had to do with the depth of this pocket here. When it went to the tap shift design, the area where the manual valve hooks into was also modified. So you have these basically three different designs of TRS plate that must match with the year of transmission you're working on, as well as the solenoid style. And lastly, what I want to discuss uh, on these changes has to do with the valve body. Uh, the valve body, of course, is the brain of any transmission, but uh, as you saw, much of what would normally be in a valve body was in the pump cover. Uh, fortunately, in this valve body, which is just pretty much two big chunks of aluminum, uh, outside of the manual valve, there's a uh, solenoid select valve and a little low reverse plug. Uh, you have some pressure seals, uh, but that's pretty much it. Now, there have been some subtle changes over the years, and there have been uh, some issues with this valve body. For instance, this cover is actually an accumulator piston cover, and they've had a lot of issues with this bending, breaking uh, screws, and so on. So it's uh, advisable if you rebuild one of these. Uh, a few companies do have uh, improved or upgraded accumulator covers uh, that you certainly would want to put on to avoid problems down the road. Uh, you can see that this solenoid, uh, this gray solenoid, uh, is what's mounted to this particular valve body, uh, which would indicate that this is at least uh, 2010 up. Uh, when you take this apart, as I say, you're not going to have uh, hardly anything in valves, but where the differences come in has to do with check balls. When this was first released, uh, it had seven check balls, and when the tap shift design came out and they went to the gray solenoid connector, they actually dropped off two check balls. So now it went from seven back to five. Uh, there are actually a few companies that are kind of making a combo a valve body, if you will, to cover all years as well as large, small. Going through this valve body is not a problem. As I say, there's not much in it. More of it has to do with the solenoid body that attaches to it as well as the TRS plate. This is where the TRS plate is. It's got a detent spring on it, and this is what strokes back and forth to move the manual valve, whether it's a manual shift or a tap shift. Uh, what happened again in 2019, when they came out with a blue connector, added an additional uh, solenoid for lockup, they have to modify the valve body itself. So there is no way that you can utilize uh, an 018 back for a 019 up valve body. There, of course, are many other components internally, uh, piston housing clutch drums, uh, clutch quantities, one-way clutches, and so on. So when you're going through an RFE, be aware of the model you're working on, the computer strategy that goes with it, and if you're rebuilding and you have to replace components, be aware of the latest upgrades so that you can make the transmission as durable as possible.
I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching. See you next time.